Welcome to part four of this Football Manager 2015 experiment where I'm trying to see if Indonesia can win the World Cup with a bit of help, obviously, along the way. I have improved lots of things about Indonesia to get them to this stage, but we're up to part four simply because they haven't won the World Cup yet. If you haven't checked out part one, two and three, there'll be a link in the description below where you can go to my channel and watch them. That'd be much appreciated, just so you know what's going on if you've happened to click on this video without watching the other parts. So at the end of part three, I said if that video gets 200 likes, then I will do a part four whereby I take control of Indonesia for the 2058 World Cup. And you blitzed that. You got 400 likes. So thank you so much for that. If you can hit a like button on this video too, that would be much appreciated. So what I'm doing is I've taken control of Indonesia. We're going to play the first three friendlies then play the World Cup and hopefully win the World Cup. Obviously, they haven't managed to win it with an in-game manager, but maybe me with my tactical ability and management ability, being modest there, uh, maybe I can help Indonesia win the World Cup here. Now, I'm not going to show every game. I'm just going to show like the goals for the friendlies, for example, and then probably the goals for the group stage as well. And after that point, we're going into a bit more detail in, in the matches. So without further ado, the first game is against Egypt who are ranked 33rd in the world, so they're not far below us actually at the moment. They're on the upward trajectory and Indonesia have been on the downward trajectory. So we're sort of meeting in the middle here. For this friendly, it's good preparation for the World Cup now. You're probably wondering who I've selected for the team. They won't mean anything to you because they're all regens. But I had a massive group of players to select from. There's some, there's some world-class players in there. There's a few. If we look at ability-wise, the best player is this striker who is Arif Iwanto, 25-year-old, has the best potential, uh, uh, current ability, 191, plays for Leverkusen. Unbelievable player. So he's going to be my main man in the middle. And next up is Bowono, another world-class player, who's really a left midfielder, unfortunately, because left midfielders, right midfielders, they only really fit into 4-4-2. He can play on the wing. But I've gone with a tactic that doesn't include a winger simply because there wasn't much strength and depth in the winger positions. So I'll show you where he's going to be playing in a minute. You can actually see already if you look, if you if you can see. So uh, so there's a few players that are world class. Everyone of three and a half and upward are basically world class players. Got really good current ability. And then there was a lot of players with two and a half, two stars in the Indonesian national pool. But I had to select. You know, from them, I had to select 23 and make sure there was a balance in positions. Now, I don't really have much strength in depth in the defence, so I'm really going to be aiming to outscore my opponents, I guess. And goalkeeper-wise, I've got one very good goalkeeper, and the other two are not so good. Well, they're, they're not bad, but they're not brilliant. Anyway, that's the team. So, actually, let's select that one. The tactic I've gone with is the Forest Flourish. Now, those of you that watched my Nottingham Forest FM15 career, you'll know about this. Those of you that didn't, maybe you can either go and check it out or or not. But this is the tactic. It's very good. It's very overpowered in a way. I did upload it to the Steam Workshop, so I'll try and remember to put a link to that in the description below and you can download it if you want. It's not been so good since the update. And bear in mind, it does leak goals if you've got a weaker defence. So I'm a bit worried about that, but you can see I'm really top heavy. Look at all, look at the current ability in the, the players going forwards compared to the players at the back. Now, these players are still Premier League class players like English Premier League class players, but because these players are so strong, it just makes them look a bit weaker. Anyway, best player in the middle, Iwanto. Makes sense to put him in the middle. That's where all the goals are scored. But Wona, the left midfielder, who's really good, is going to be playing as a false nine. Now, I don't want to leave him out the team. He doesn't quite fit into my tactic, but I can't leave him out simply because he's so good at set pieces, and this tactic does have lots of set piece goals. As you know from my, if you've watched my Forest save, because he's got 18 on corners, 18 on free kicks, but also 18 on long throws. That is incredible. But he is a stupidly good player. I don't really know why he's not a natural left winger. He's only competent. He really is, should be a left winger because of that pace as well. And a very good crossing 18. He's going to hopefully play well in that false nine position. We'll see. We'll see. But I, I hope he does. So I've just finished my first game against Egypt and we won 6-2. I said we'd be trying to outscore the opposition. They got a couple goals in the second half. Just realised I'm doing face cam, I forgot to say, for this part four, simply because I'll be showing 
few matches and that's what I've been doing lately on my Champs of City save I've been doing face cam so for those of you that only watch my experiments you may not have seen me before here I am hi hope I don't disappoint so yeah 6-2 went amazing win we're just gonna look at the goals I said we would which will take just as much time as probably watching the match so this video is gonna be a long one um, but I decided we'll just do a long part four rather than splitting it up into multiple parts because imagine if I just show the World Cup final in a, a separate part, you'd probably get annoyed. Just watch the semi-final and think, I really want to see the final now. I'm not going to do that to you. Whether we get that far anyway, that's we may not actually get to that point. But we had a very good first game, first friendly against Egypt. Tugu with a hat-trick, in fact. That was his second goal. A couple goals from corners. I said once again set pieces would be a real deadly uh, prospect for us but the lot that his third goal wasn't from a set piece it was he looked offside there to be fair but I don't know if it came off defender and he got a 24 minute hat trick there so a very good performance from him then in the second half we scored another goal fourth goal of the game this is them trying to break away um, this is going to be a long highlight I think actually did they score here can't remember it's good defending actually by us. To, oh yeah, and then Barunu into Arif. The substitute came on for Tugu. In this, I'm probably pronouncing these names really badly. I do apologise. Then we scored a fifth from the penalty spot. So it was 5-0 at this point. But they did get a couple goals back, unfortunately. But I, this tactic really does take it out of my team. It makes you quite tired because you, you're running around. You've got it on. I'll show you the instructions in a minute. But obviously, um, my team did get a bit tired. Even though I brought on subs, maybe that's the other point. I did bring bring on my substitutes. That was Arif's second goal of the game, and they did get another consolation goal towards the end. Good free kick, great goal. But happy to win 6-2 there. So my tactic, I'll go in a bit more detail here before I have you shouting at me. I wanted to see the tactic. I have done a video on it, though. But this is what it looks like now. It might be slightly different I may have altered it slightly, I can't really remember, but yep, yeah, that's what it looks like. It's got attacking very fluid as well. Sometimes go to counter fluid if I'm winning and want to just hold on for a bit. And also I thought I'd show you some more details about the team itself because I haven't shown things like caps wise because I do actually have some players that didn't have a single cap going into this World Cup. There's two that have managed to get that. P Pinata was actually, that was his first cap for Indonesia, but he is the best defender, I would say. Um, he's he's really a defensive midfielder that's changed into a, a centre back, I guess. But he's I'm playing him as a ball playing centre back. I've changed it slightly. I've got a ball playing centre back. Just remembered uh, because he's so good at passing. And then other players, they, the media were surprised they picked certain players over other players, like older players that have been in the team for a long time. But there's some players that are really good that just don't have a huge number of caps. Top scorer is. Tegu, in fact, who's the one that scored a hat-trick in that last game. Um, but he's not actually the best striker. It is Iwanto is the best striker, but he's just only got 34 caps, 17 goals. Uh, yeah, so I, I obviously want to focus on him, but he didn't score in that last game. So maybe the right striker is the best one to get goals, because from that position, I got five of the goals in that game. Anyway, I'm going to play the next friendly, and then I'll show you the result. Right, so not such a good game. We lost 3-1 against Argentina. Tugu with another goal, but they were just too much for us. Argentina ranked 20th in the world, so it's not like they're the strongest team either. So I'm going to have to think about this. Maybe this tactic is just a bit too weak defensively uh, to go with. But I'll see how we get on against Greece, who are ranked 41st in the world before making any drastic changes. But I'm hoping this, this works. Maybe it was just an off game. Uh, let's see how we get on then against Greece. The World Cup odds have been released. We're actually 5-1 to one to win the World Cup, which is pretty good. We've got actually a chance of winning this World Cup, according to the bookies and the media. So then, back to winning ways. A 3-0 win against Greece. Goals from Alex Awanto finally got a goal, and Prestowo got a goal. Look at the, the match stats, though. 49 shots to their one, but we only created two clear-cut chances. I'll show you the goals for this one. Didn't see the point in the Argentina one, it was a loss. So I'll show you the, the goals in this win. Very good win, we were dominant, had no problems whatsoever. So maybe it's just against stronger opposition, we will struggle a bit more. Um, against Argentina, obviously, we did struggle. So I don't know. 
We'll see what happens in the group stages. I'm really hoping we can easily qualify from our group. This was the first goal. Came from a corner and it was put back in and Alex headed it home. Second goal. Buono just looks so dangerous with the ball. I'm glad I'm playing him up front actually. He's working well there in the false nine. Eventually we'll see this second goal. It's a long old highlight. Awanto, I think, yeah, he was the goal scorer, wasn't he? So it was nice build-up play, this. Passing it around nicely, keeping hold of possession, working space, getting further into their box, putting lots of players in there. And Awanto finally, with a good finish there, put him on the right-hand side of the strike force and he got a goal. So it seems to be the one in the middle struggling a bit. With the Forest Flourish, my Nottingham Forest save, it wasn't always that way. Like, I remember... I'm sure I used to get quite a few goals from all three strikers, in fact. So, yeah. Um, anyway, it's up to. We've got the group stage now, the World Cup coming up. Exciting times. So, this is the match preview before our first game of the World Cup. I won't show this, I, I won't show the, the group stage games, I'll just show the goals. And then after that, I will show the actual matches, just because I don't want the video to be two hours long. So, Indonesia have. Decent record over Chile. Chile have won a couple games by the looks of it. I think in world, in a World Cup, they Indonesia lost against Chile, actually. Can't quite remember, but you guys might be able to remember. I know they've struggled against Belgium in the past, but I think Chile was another team. The first game of the World Cup was between Morocco and Turkey, which was a nil-nil draw. Boring. Boring game. Gone by the same team that beat Greece. So wish me luck. I'll see you on the other side. So, a good start to the World Cup. A 4-1 win against Chile. We completely mullered them. We had 37 shots, 27 on target. They only had 8. In regards to clear-cut chances, though, it wasn't... <laughs> it was just ridiculous. We had 15 clear-cut chances. They had 5. They had 5, five of their 8 shots were clear-cut chances. But we had so many clear-cut chances. I don't know how we only won 4-1. Let's have a look at the goals. We put in a good display. We just... We're completely dominant. I just wish we'd scored more goals because we... Oh, 37 shots, 27 on target. Their keeper had a blinder. So the first goal, I think, was... Yeah, 25th minute. Let's have a, sit, have a look. It's through to Tegu, who scored again. He's just on fire. And he scored from the central position. He scored two goals from the central position today. So it's not just... He doesn't just score goals from that right-hand-sided position at at the front free that was a good free kick and then they did get a goal back which was annoying because at this stage I'd had about 25 shots 11 clear cut chances and they got a goal back and I was 2-1 up despite the fact I'd completely dominated you can see here that the ratings Tegu was man of the match but I'm surprised Soto only got a 7.1 I know he let him 4 goals but he just made so many saves we should have scored more goals and my substitute uh, Zakira uh, was it Kiri? Zalika, sorry, can't read from here. Zalika got a goal to make it 3 1, and then we really did make it comfortable thanks to Tegu with another goal. Denny Tegu is such a lethal striker. He's not as good as. Oh, um, what's his name? Forgotten his name. The other guy. Let's have a look at him. Tegu. 50 goals, that was his 50th goal for Indonesia. 50 goals in 70 games. I'm trying to think of the other other name. Iwanto, that's him. He's got, on paper, Iwanto is just incredible. He's so good, but hasn't quite done it for me yet. Um, so hopefully he can do in the next group stage match against Turkey, who are a strong team. Uh, where are they based? Uh, based? Where are they ranked in the world? 12th, so they are actually a better team than us. So it's going to be tough. Right then, on to the second match. Indonesia have won one game against Turkey in the past and drawn the other three. Turkey have never won, so I've got a good chance of winning despite the fact Turkey are, are above us in the rankings. So, same team. I'm actually going to make a change because I can't seem to w get someone to play well in this left central midfield role. I've changed it from ro uh, Roman playmaker to just normal central midfield. I can't spit out my words properly. To normal central midfield. Uh, to see if that makes a difference. So I'm going to actually play Merianto there. I've got plenty of good midfielders, so I can just swap them around and see what works. Okay, wish me luck for this game. 
We won! 3 1. Brilliant win. A goal each for my front three as well. We once again had so many shots. 29 shots in this game, 11 on target. Not quite as dominant as the last game, but we came from behind, which is very pleasing. We just kept at it, kept plugging away. We struggled to really create open opportunities in the first half, but second half we came alive and scored three goals. Awanto, Bawuno, and took Tugu with a, a last minute goal. Let's see the first one. Awanto just kept plugging away all game and eventually got his rewards with a goal. Um, but this is their their first goal in the first goal of the game in the first half from them, unfortunately. So we did have to come out and try and get an equaliser after this point. It was a good goal, well worked, and they uh, opened the scoring after ten minutes. They actually got we got man of the match. Panatra with the man of the match, in fact. Not sure why he got man of the match. Must have been assists or something. So this was a great goal. Tegu bursting down the right-hand side. Even though he's 33, he's got pace. It was a good finish from Owento as well. Pleased for him getting that goal. And then we uh, scrambled home a second goal, you'll see in a second. Owento collecting the ball. Then Tegu collecting it. Awanto, Kasuma hit it, came off the back of the keeper, and Buono with the tap in. Not actually sure why uh, Penata. Oh, I'm making a hash of these names, aren't I? Not sure why he got man of the match. Anyway, we grabbed a last gasp goal, a last gasp third goal. Tegu running clear, went round the keeper quite easily, beat the last defender as well, and stuck it home for 3 1. So we go into the last game. I think, have we qualified? Not 100% sure. Let's see, we have already qualified, so I can put out a different team against Morocco uh, and rest some of the uh, star players. So this is my rotated team to take that take on the hosts, Morocco. Don't really have much choice at fullback, so I've had to play midfielders there. And I'm still playing Alex and Ramdini, sticking with him in goal. Those are the only two players that have started every game so far. So, yep, let's go and try and keep our momentum going and beat Morocco. Right, so we completely destroyed Morocco. Fantastic result. Let's look at the goals. Six goals, six nil win from uh, my second string, basically. Brought on a couple of first-team players towards the end of the game, but brilliant performances. Hajim with a couple of goals. Kasuma, who's actually my captain with a couple of goals. I'm actually going to stick with him in midfield for the second round because he played so well in midfield. Hajim played really well as well. I think he's my most capped, the most capped player in the team actually. Um, and he got the first goal and we made it two pretty soon afterwards. Kasuma with a brilliant curling goal. Fantastic strike from my captain. And then we made it three but the, uh, you know, 15 minutes later It's coming. It's coming, guys. We're going to get there in the end. It's a long old highlight. <laughs> Arif, lovely ball in to Supriasso with the goal. Supriasso. Mohamed Supriasso. I've got some really good players. I mean, even the second string are lethal. We beat Morocco, who are actually higher than us in the world rankings. 6 0. It shows how strong we are. And they are the hosts. The home fans can't have been too happy after this result. Then in the second half, we did get a couple more goals. Arif making it five. Panji Arif. Deserved that goal. Played really well. And then we did make it six. In the 61st or 62nd minute. We could have had more. We only had seven clear-cut chances, but we had 39 shots in total. Some really good efforts from my guys. Uh, Kasuma with the goal to make it 6-0. Fantastic stuff. So in the second round, we've got Peru, which really should be a win. I don't know how high they are. They're 18th. They are above us in the world rankings, but I think we should be able to beat Peru. So this is what happened in all of the groups. Indonesia and Chile from Group A. France, Peru from Group B. Argentina, Spain from Group C. Portugal, Colombia, Italy, Switzerland, Belgium, Brazil, Germany, Denmark, England and Holland going through. So it's a strong lineup for the second round. I've got Peru, the other teams, 
in a very strong lineup, so it's going to be difficult to win this World Cup. But I've got every chance because of this lethal tactic and my lethal team in general. I'm actually going to be showing this game. I'm going to be showing every game from now on. So we're already probably the video is probably already half an hour long. So, but I hope you're enjoying it so far. Please hit that like button if you are. I will be doing more experiments very soon. But I thought, you know, we'll do this part four, get that out of the way, and then start a new experiment. I hope you're looking forward to any new ideas I come up with. I'm trying to be innovative. I'm trying to come up with new things. The next one's similar, but a bit different. So that will hopefully be out in the coming days. Just need to obviously set it up and holiday. It takes a while to do all of that business. Anyway, this is something a bit different. This part four is a bit different to my usual experiment because I'm actually playing some matches. I think this is the first experiment where I've actually played as a team and managed a team. Apart from maybe the um, player clone ones I did ages ago. So we need to pick up where we left off last. I've gone back to my first choice team. But I've got these players to call upon if need be because I know they're good. Now that we beat Morocco 6-0. But Peru are a strong team. They are above us in the rankings. But I'm hoping this tactic and the classy players I have can prove to be too powerful for them. Got it on key highlights so we can get through it as quickly as possible. But with this tactic, you get so many key highlights because I get so many chances generally. Oh, we almost take the lead. Oh, So close for Bowaro. Two chances there for him to open the scoring. And here go Peru on the attack. Good tackle by Penatra. Here goes Ewando down the wing. My star man. Can he put it into Tegu? He does. Tegu. Oh, it's in from Boaro. 1-0. Oh, it's Boono, not Boaro. What am I going on? I can't remember their names. <laughs> I need to revise these names and make sure I can remember them. Never mind. He's such a good player, that guy. Must be up there with the top scorers, actually, for the tournament now. Can they get a goal back here from a corner, though? It's back out wide. And, oh, good save by Ramdini. Ramdani, sorry. Making sure it didn't sneak past him. And here goes Iksan down the wing. Into Tegu. Kasuma, the captain, had such a game in the last game. Tegu! Oh, and Bowono had the chance to make it two. That was the second clear-cut chance of the game. Should have made it two, but we've got a corner, and we're deadly from corners as well. What's he going to do? Whips it in. It's Oh, interesting. Oh, didn't quite work out for us there. But I'm happy with the starts of the game. We're 1-0 uh, up. Going to keep it with attacking very fluid for now. Try and get another goal. Here goes. Here we go, up the pitch. Tegu. Prestowo. Through again, Kasuma. Ah, gah, so close, so close to going over the line, but not quite. We're still on the ball here. We've still got a chance. Iksam down the wing, Kasuma. Back to Wanama. Prestowo. Prestowo, Wanma. Lovely play. Can we get a shot away? We can't. It's cleared behind for a corner. It was just like a, a panicked clearance there, wasn't it? Interesting corner there. Didn't quite work out. But Wojno just slammed it into the man on the edge of the box quite powerfully. 13 shots to that. Oh, Tegu's injured. Oh dear. That could be a blow. I'm going to put a Wanto out in into the middle. And then I'm going to put... Arif had a good game. But Zaka... I think I'm going to go with Zalika. He's a good player. I'm going to put him alongside a Wanto. And see what he can do. I've got, I mean, so many options. It doesn't really matter. But Tegu has been fantastic for me. It's a shame that he's injured for the rest of the game. Hopefully not for the rest of the tournament. Corner. Okay. Here goes the substitute. Bursting through. And we've scored. Wamma with the goal. The more defensive-minded central midfielder getting that goal. So we get a lot of goals from corners. It was a good save by the keeper and Wamma. Just found the gap in the defence and in the goal. And we're 2-0 up. Can this be three? Oh, it can. The substitute scores. Zalika with the goal. Coming off the bench. We've had 20 shots already in this game. This this tactic is 
overpowered. Basically, we might find that Indonesia we we can win the World Cup, and it may be because they were not had the right, they didn't have the right manager, they didn't have the right tactic, and weren't utilizing their best players. We've noticed that they haven't always utilized their best players, and I am, and I'm getting results. We may have lost against Argentina in a friendly, but we are doing very well so far in the World Cup, and we're three 0 up. I just noticed a player was quite tired. I'm going to bring off Prestowa and bring on. I'm going to bring on. Ha Hasiyim, because he played so well in the last game. He deserves to come off the bench in this second round, I think. He's one of the older players in the team, and I think he does have the most caps out of anyone. Here's a chance then. Early in the second half, can we make it four? Oh, so close. And the uh, Zalika almost getting a second. Awanto not having the best of games. He's... he's He's the best player by a long way. Ah, oh, Wamba's injured now. He is the best player, but he's just struggling. So this is the third, my last sub, actually. I'm going to bring on... Who? Let's bring on Sudrajat. Sud Sudrajat. Oh, some of you guys will be laughing at me. I know there's quite a few Indonesians and Southeast Asians watching this experiment. So apologies for the uh, mispronunciations, but I'm sure you're having a chuckle. Doing my best. <laughs> Can we make it four? Ah, oh, so close. Cleared away. Oh, another corner. We're getting so many chances from corners here. Lovely play. Hashim always getting another goal. Cleared. Oh, we've only had four clear-cut chances. We had 29 shots. Crazy. They've only had... Ah, oh, Ramdani. The cap. The goalkeeper's picked up a knock. What's going on? What are they doing to me? Hopefully they're not injured for the, the quarter-final. Hopefully he can hang on in there. The goalkeeper for the last half now has not had a huge amount to do. I really want Iwanto, Iwanto to get a goal because he's struggled in this game in that central role since moving there, since Tegu went off. We really have been dominant. Nice play. Iwanto loses the ball though. I don't know what's wrong with him. He should be one of the... Like Messi, basically. He's got 191 current ability. Ah, oh, great goal from Zolika again. The substitute grabbing the strike. Maybe that's why the best players aren't playing, because all the ones slightly worse are actually doing better, generally. Awanto does get the assist, though. That's good. Great finish from Zolika. Top right-hand corner. Makes it 4-0. It's been a comfortable game for us once again. Can we make it five here? Zalika, could he get a hat trick? A Wanto, oh, you need to stick them away. And he just can't find the back of the net. It's not working for him. He has got one goal in this tournament, hasn't he? Or has he got two? Can't remember. But it's, it just seems to be a bit of a struggle for him. Still on the ball. We've won a penalty. I don't know who my penalty taker is. I want a Wanto to take it, but I don't think he will be. I think it's someone else is the penalty taker. Let's see who it is. It is... Come on, hurry up. It's Zalika. Oh, it's Hattrick. That's why he had a chance to get his Hattrick and he gets it. Brilliant performance from him since coming off the bench. 5-0. Been magnificent. And now a free kick to Bawona. And Awanto does get a goal. Finally, 6-0. Amazing stuff. Ugh. <laughs> See... Uh, I've got it on key highlights. We're still get oh, it's seven, Kasuma, with the goal. We've been magnificent. Just over the games we have put together, this the tactic has become more natural to us over time. And Kasuma, the captain, gets his third goal of the tournament. What a strike! Seven nil. It's my. We've got better every game. Can we make it eight, Zalika? Back to Bowono. Can he whip it in? Zalika. Oh, he's got his fourth goal of the game. He's been absolutely lethal in this game. 8-0. Surely that's the end now. No more goals. And I think Peru are praying for the final whistle here. Not sure why the ref isn't blowing it, to be honest. It's torturing them. There we go. Oh, it's a foul. It's not even the end. There we go. That's the end. We're into the quarterfinal. 
So, quarterfinals, we're taking on Spain. France beat Argentina in the earlier quarterfinal, Italy versus England and Switzerland versus Germany in the other one. Spain are ranked second in the world. So this is going to be very tough. <sighs> yeah, I really hope I can do this because this is as far as Indonesia got without me in charge. So it'd be nice if uh, we can get further than any previous manager did. Fortunately, the, the injuries suffered were not serious at all and everyone's fit and raring to go for this game they're playing an interesting formation i think that's the same formation chile played against me actually so we are used to playing that strange formation let's see what we can do they've obviously got incredible team to be second in the world but we've got an incredible team too and we're on a high we're flying at the moment and this forest flourish tactic seems to be working very well with this team so let's just give a bit of a passionate boost to my players to improve motivation only one player motivated uh, Pernata, who's had a very good tournament at centre back as a, a ball playing defender they're on the attack already early on in this game let's hope we can keep their chances to a minimum and we can create some chances of our own Ah, uh, I'm enjoying this. I hope you guys are too. I know it's a long video, but maybe you're watching it in chunks. But I thought I'd rather just do this in one big video than layer it out across the days and leave you waiting. It's nice to have a long video from time to time, isn't it? A long Football Manager video, I think. Here we go, on the attack then. Ah, oh, Tegu with the chance. Ah, oh, that needed to be a goal. Got a corner. I went to. Ah! Ah! ah Dig quite go over the line. It's another corner. So close. But Wono knocks it in. It's knocked away. And luckily we clear that. Ah, so we've had two clear cut chances. Tried to speak too quickly there. <laughs> we've had two clear cut chances already. 10 shots, 5 shots for them. 55% possession for us. It's working well. But Wono, free kick. Kasuma. Prestowo, Iwanto taken out wide, knocks it back in, hit away, Wanma. This is nice play to recycle possession, but we've lost the ball here, but we've won it back. Luckily, Iwanto, Buono scores. Great strike from him. We're 1-0 up. Great goal just before half time as well. Not so many chances in this game, clear cut chances anyway. And Iwanto with the assist, I think. Buono hit it. He's actually right-footed despite being a left midfielder. That's really odd. It's fair enough if you're an inside or like a left winger and cutting into your right foot. But it's unusual to just be like a left-sided midfielder and right-footed. Anyway, we're 1-0 up at half-time. I'm very pleased with that. Tegu's not having the best game. I'm going to take him off for the super sub Zalika who had a fantastic game in the last game. I'm going to move Awanto to the middle and go with that. Yeah. Wait, let's go to the tactics view. I want to see that's done properly. Ah, oh, what have I done? Done something really weird. Bonnet, he's the goalkeeper, isn't he? There we go. That's better. Ugh. So laggy when I'm recording. It's really annoying. Recently, it's just been lagging a lot. If you've been watching my Chumps to Champions series, it has been lagging. The tactics screen is annoying. I think they've probably changed that for FM16, to be honest. It's not been particularly popular. I've got used to it, but it's not been particularly popular. I'm going to bring Kasuma off. He's not having the best game in this one. I'm going to stick with the same tactic. I'm not going to change it up, though. I'm going to bring on Sudrajat again to come on into the middle on the left-hand side. Can we hold out? We've got a chance here from a free kick knocked away. Basomo. Basono, I keep calling him different things. Had the chance there to make it two, but he was blocked off. Zakila, oh, got four goals in the last game, remember. What a performance from him. Another chance. Prestaro, not uh, blocked away. Buono, can he knock it into the box? Oh, it's oh, unlucky, unlucky there. Another chance for us. We had 27 shots again. This is ridiculous. It would just, uh, considering I lost against Argentina, I thought, oh, maybe this isn't going to work, but it really has. I did make a couple changes that I forgot to tell you, actually. 
I uh, what I did was I pushed higher up and put off side trap on and it's really made a difference we've been lethal since then I should have told you that ages ago but I forgot but that's what I did and it has really made a difference anyway I'm gonna bring on Marianto for Prestaro who's a bit tired Hopefully the team won't be too knackered for the quarterfinal if we get through. We're only 1-0 up, remember. We've had 29 shots, but we are only 1-0 up. I'd really like to get a second to make this comfortable. Lovely play. Oh, Iwanto so close. It was a great run from him. That's why he's such a good player. But he couldn't quite find the back of the net. Anyway, it's 88 minutes now. And you can sense they're going to get a chance here. But Penatra does well. Knocked up the pitch. I'm not even going to begin to try and pronounce Sidrujat properly. Here they go. Oh no, we've pushed up high and now it's a good save by Ramdani. I don't want this to go to extra time. Get rid of it, guys. Get rid of it. It's time to it's time to uh, shut up shop a bit. We're going to go and do this. Just try and hold on. For the last 30 seconds. Oh, it's the right old scramble in there. And, oh, it's a free kick to them. Ixan with the, the, the foul and the yellow card. I have to watch out for suspensions as well. because it's Oh, we've won! We're through to the quarterfinals of the World Cup. Massive contrast from the last game. 8-0, 1-0. Once again, we had tons of shots, but only one goal in this game. And the goal from Bowono, cracking strike at the end of the first half, sends us through to the semi-finals. So it's the time for the World Cup semi-finals. It's Indonesia versus Germany and France versus Italy. So three powerful European teams left alongside us. We have a good chance of winning this, I think. Germany's going to be tough. We've got some injuries. Kasuma, my captain's injured. In fact, we've got loads of injuries. Three injuries. This is a real blow. What's going on? I'm going to have to play Sudrajat instead of Kasuma. Let me sort this out. There we go. We've also got a couple players tired because... Sia Putra and Alex have played a lot of games games in this World Cup so far and they're pretty knackered but I mean their condition looks okay they just need a rest apparently but I can't give them a rest they need to keep playing we need to try and beat Germany who are where are they in the world third in the world so we've played second and now we've got third it's, oh, oh, it's gonna be tough this I want to have a look at the statistics just quickly as we go into this um, stage of the World Cup. We've got the fourth joint highest goal scorer with Zakila, who's got five goals coming off the bench. Top scorer is Tran for France, who looks incredible. 69 goals in 82 games for France. We've got the most assists though in, with Bowono. Bowono. He's got the most key passes as well. Ramdani has joint top most clean sheets. And Zakila, average minutes per goal, ridiculously high. But he's still going to be on the bench. He's going to be my super sub. We're actually the only team to win every game so far. And we've actually got the joint highest number of goals along with France. Somehow France have scored just as many as us. So if we have to face them in the World Cup final, it's going to be a worry. It could be a complete bloodbath. It could finish 9-9. Although I'd, my defence has been very solid as well. Only conceding two goals. So it's a bit of a shame we've got three players injured going into this semi-final. But fortunately, I've got plenty of strength in depth. Let's see what their striker's like, Jort. Oh, he's good. He's very good. 56 goals in 73 games for Germany. One of my players that just got injured actually just signed for Barcelona, actually. Thought I'd just throw that in there. It shows the quality of the players I have. And he wasn't even one of my first choice players. I think it was the Maryland. It's not Maryland, but it looks like... It reminds me of Maryland Cookies, his name anyway. Come on, guys. Let's try and get through to a World Cup final. We've been so good in this World Cup so far. We've been dominant in games. Oh, we really have been magnificent. But how will Germany... What will Germany throw at us? Here we go, from a corner. Ah, it's in, it's somehow scrambled over the line. It's an own goal from Sierra. That oh, was a right old scramble. Let's see that in 3D. Headed back to Sidrajat. It just hit Alex on the line and what was going on there? I have no idea, but it's gone over the line and that's what matters. Oh, we're 1-0 up. 
from a corner, predictably so. Nixon into Prestero. Lovely play. Tegu. Ah, ah, Wanto makes it two. He's needed that goal. And he's got it. Tegu with the assist. Stuck with those two up front. And it's worked well. Tegu, what am I going on about? It's Tegu. I, I can't remember these guys' names. I should abbreviate them. I should have just given them nicknames like Trevor and Roger. That would have been much better. I like these names, but I, I, Alex is good. I think he's part Brazilian, by the way. <laughs> Some of the names are brilliant. I like them. But um, I just I can't pronounce them. We're 3-0 up. Owanto with another goal. Arif Owanto. I can pronounce that. I think that's how you pronounce it. I might be wrong. I probably am wrong. Full crowd at this, this stadium in Morocco. Advertised in November. Uh, good old football manager. There's probably some burger vans in the corner. Here they go again, Germany. Oh, here they go again. This is pretty much the first time I've seen them attack, and they missed a glorious chance there to get back into the game. We're three 0 I can't quite believe how well we're doing. Against Spain, we did, you know, struggle to, to score. We got one goal, obviously. And Awanto should have got his hat-trick there. Good opportunity there for him. But he's having a good game nonetheless. And we're 3-0 up at half-time. We're going through to the World Cup final, guys. We can win the World Cup of Indonesia. Ah, oh, obviously that was the aim. It has... If oh, I'm getting ahead of myself here. If we do win it, then it's mainly because of me. We'll have to... You'll have to say that. Good old uh, Forest Flourish tactic. That's what's done it, I think. To be honest, I could have probably used quite a few different tactics with this team and done pretty well because they've got such good players. They just weren't utilised in the right way. They didn't have a good manager in charge. And they did get a bit unlucky going out in the second round and first... Oh, we've made a went over the hat-trick. Um, and quarter-final of the World Cup. They've been a bit unlucky. Brilliant performance from Awanto. It's come good in this semi-final. That's what matters you know the the best players in the world come good in the big games he didn't care about the group stages i think he got one or two goals but he cares about the semi-final and the final of the world cup can we make it five tegu that was offside that's not going to be five i'm actually going to bring off bowono to save him for the final and bring on Zekila, who else of course? Who else can I say? Prestowo can come off for... Ah, Hashim, who had such a good game against Morocco. I'm sure the Moroccans in the stadium will like to see him come on. I'm sure they give him a big cheer as he comes onto the pitch. We've been so good. We've been dominant. Germany have had three shots. One clear-cut chance. Just going to keep it on attacking. Attacking is the best form of defence with this tactic. Just keep going. It does knacker out my team, which is why I've got players that need a rest. So I'm going to have the whole team needing a rest for the final ones. Here they go. Germany, can they get a consolation goal? Nice play from them. Still on the ball. Good tackle, Wanma. Plays it through to Iwanto. Beats his man into Tegu. Tegu. Lovely play. We just get so many men in the box. And oh, Hashim scores another goal. 5 0. Wow. Awanto's going to come off. And I'm going to bring on Supriya So for the last 20 minutes or so. And give Awanto a rest ahead of the final. He's had a brilliant hat trick game. Can we make it six from this corner? This is so unrealistic now. <laughs> Then again, Brazil, Germany, real life semi final of the World Cup. These things happen. We're getting revenge for Brazil. A couple of my players are from Brazil. Oh, Alex is half Brazilian anyway. Here they go. Can they get a consolation goal? No, they can't. Not at the moment anyway. They've still got 10 minutes to get one. We've only had, we've had 19 shots. We've only had three clear cut chances, but we've scored five goals. We've been clinical. That really is the word today clinical. 5-0 win. Amazing. 
And this is going to be the final whistle. And we are in the World Cup final. So here we are, guys. World Cup final. We're playing France, unfortunately. That's the team I didn't want because they they did pummel. I think they pummeled Italy in the semi-final. Let's go back. Germany won the third place playoff against Italy on penalties. Yeah, 6-2 to France. <laughs> oh, this guy scored five goals. Oh, no. I don't think he's even their main striker. What formation? Well, I suppose we'll find out what formation. Maybe they're playing the Forest Flourish as well. But this is going to be carnage, surely. Oh, they've actually scored one more goal than me this tournament. That's ridiculous, considering how many I've scored. In the three games that we've played before, Indonesia have won once and France have won twice. So, oh, this is going to be interesting. Okay, so we've still got a couple tired players. In fact, we've got three tired players now. My defence are quite tired. We are going into this game... Not 100%, not 100%, but which team has ever gone into a World Cup final? 100%. I'm sure France are, are licking their wounds as well. Um, it's all part of the World Cup, isn't it? The games are quite close together. There's lots of games, and you have to put out your strongest team to get through, especially the knockout stages. You can't rest players in the knockout stages. But luckily, I did get to rest a couple players for the, the second half ahead of this game. I'm going to stick with Tegu and Owanto up front and use Zakil Zalika as the super sub. He's had a fantastic tournament. Awanto and him both have... In fact, Awanto, Tegu and Zakila have... No, wait, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Awanto and Zakila both have five goals this tournament. They have been really good, especially in the knockout stages. So, oh, wish me luck, guys. Can Indonesia win the World Cup on Football Manager? You're about to find out. Okay. Their, this is their formation, 4-2-3-1, classic football manager formation that. Let's mark their main man, Tran, who wasn't even the guy that scored five goals in the last game. They actually rested Tran, I think, for this final. That is ridiculous. That's how much confidence they have. Or maybe not, maybe he did play, he needs a rest. But they did play Cheek Fei, who got five goals, remember, in that semi-final. So they've got him on the bench to come on, come on and cause problems. Do it for the fans, guys. Do it for the 237 million Indonesians at home cheering you on. Realistically, there should be a lot more, but Football Manager doesn't seem to account for population rise or anything like that. Anyway, let's go. Come on. Yes. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. We've been so good. It's been a joy to watch. I've not really had to do much, but uh, yeah, it's worked well. But they've got an attack straight away in this final. Uh-oh, looking dangerous. Surely that was offside. It was offside. The yellow offside, thankfully. Babakar. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we've got a corner. And this is where we're deadly. Awanto. Oh, Awanto. Oh, go in. It's in. It is in. Tegu with the goal. An Indonesian legend. He's been magnificent for his country over the years. And he gets a crucial goal in this World Cup final scrambled in, Awanto hit it, it was good saves by the keeper, but look at that, and it slipped through his legs in the end, Tegu got the last touch, and we're 1-0 up, oh, this could be a goal bonanza, Tegu through again, Tegu, Tegu, oh it's over the bar, that was a chance, oh it's a good save I think by the keeper in the end, must have been, Wana, ah oh, that was a chance as well, but we couldn't stick it in the back of the net from that corner. Here they go, France on the attack. Can we win the ball back? Ah, oh, brilliant defending. And here goes Iwanto. Iwanto should have scored. That was the third clear cut chance of the game for us. If that was the semi final, it would have stuck that away. Ah, oh, free kick. Whipped in. Can we get a shot away? We did, but Awanto had a chance at the back post and he couldn't get his shot away. We've had chances. We've had four click cut chances in this game. They've had four shots all off target. It's ours to lose now. We've been really good, but not being able to find the back of the net as much as we should have. But Wono, though, with the chance here to whip it in, knocked away. Can we get another ball in? Lovely play. Uh, and here they go, Tran, good tackle on Tran, but, and that's the end of that highlight, thankfully. 
Just calm down now, guys. Just stay calm. Hold on. And Wanto's only on a 6.4, not having the best of games. Now they're on the attack with a throw-in. Uh-oh, they've equalised. It's offside, though. Tran is offside. You can tell when the assistants stand still. Generally, it means they're offside. Two offside goals for them. They've been unlucky. But I think they were called correctly. Second one, a bit closer, I think. Keep it up, guys. Keep it up. Awento not having the best of games. I'm actually going to put him in the middle and move Tegu out wide. See if that makes a difference. If not, then I've got Zakil Zalika to come on, remember, to cause carnage. One half of football remaining until Indonesia can win the World Cup, hopefully. And then we can say, can Indonesia win the World Cup? Yes. That would be good. Come on, guys. Okay. Ah, oh, Tegu with a chance that time. And it... Ah, it's right old scrambles from these corners. They're defending them well. Actually going to take off Zatruchat. Zatruchat. I can't pronounce his name. Let's bring on... Hmm, who do I bring on? I think I'll bring on Hashim in central midfield. He doesn't actually play that. I'm going to play him as a, a deep line playmaker. He's had a good World Cup. Just coming off the bench generally. Here goes Awanto. Ah, oh, oh, how have we not scored there? We've had six clear cut chances. We really should be more than one goal up in this World Cup final. Ah, oh, Hashim almost grabbed another goal for himself. It's time to make a sub up front, I think. They're just not taking their chances. And now France are going to take their chance. They have as well. It's one all. Cheek Fire scored five goals in the semi-final. And they've equalised. Who do I take off? Like, I, I don't want to bring off Awento Because he's been so good in the semi-final. And obviously he's my best player. Panatra not having the best of games. I'm going to take him off Abdullah at the back. He's been good this tournament, but that was his fault, really, not marking his man. See the replay. It was a good ball in. And, yeah, they're right back in the centre-back, just not marking their man. And they've got a goal. They've equalised with their first clear-cut chance of the game. Quite unfortunate, really. And here they go again. Oh, we get lucky there. Their second clear-cut chance of the game, and they miss it. This could be going to extra time, guys. We really shouldn't have got to this stage. We should be winning. But we're not. <laughs> Quite simply. We've just not been good enough at taking our chances up front. It's been very annoying. And now they've really taken the game to us. Get rid of the ball, guys. Knock it up the pitch. That's it. Tegu, run. Into Iwanto. Back to Tegu. Oh, this is a chance. Oh, ah! so close. So close. And now they're on the counter. It's end-to-end -end stuff, this. Said it would be a good game, and Hashim just wallops him there. If it goes to extra time, and bringing on the super sub. It has gone to extra time. The, t the players are knackered. Knackered. I'm going to go for that because we have been, somehow we're not winning, but we really should be. I'm actually going to keep Awanto on. I'm going to take off Tegu because Awanto is world class and on his day can do something amazing. So there we go. He's going to stay on the pitch. Please, someone grab a goal for us. Why has it had to go to extra time? Pretty annoying. We really should have won this game in 90 minutes. 31 shots, 20 shots on target, 6 clear-cut chances. Oh, and De Delica almost grabbing a goal. That was the 7th clear-cut chance, actually. This time, maybe. Ah, oh, who's going to be the hero? Who's going to score the winning goal for us? <sighs> Sweating now. I'm nervous because... This is the first time we've really struggled. Oh, and it is him. It had to be him, didn't it? It had to be Zalika, who has been superb for me. And he's he's just come off the bench every single time and scored goals. Great finish from him. And now we're 2-1 up in extra time. 
But whoa, no. Can we make it three? Oh, we do! It's it's the left back of all people, Ixan, with the third goal. Popping up at the at the uh, wrong end of the pitch. Well, the right end of the pitch in, in a sense that we wanted him to score. But he's hardly ever been up the pitch and he's scored a goal the one time he has gone up. And now, surely we can hold on and maybe extend our lead even further. Oh, oh we do! It's 4-1 Prestowo. France just are completely dead in this this extra time. It's almost good that it's gone to extra time because we've seen some nice goals here. It hit the post and then Prestowo. Awanto with the assist. Unselfishly passing it back to his midfield player. And we've been magnificent in that first half of extra time. 39 shots now. 23 on target. 9 clear cut chances. So there are 11 shots on to in total. Absolutely fantastic. Indonesia can win the World Cup with a bit of help. With a lot of help. Can we make it another? Ewanto gets a goal. I'm pleased for him. I'm really pleased he's managed to get that goal. It's plugged away. It's actually up to a 9.3 now. Despite that awful first half. Keeping him on has... Worked wonders. I think he's got a couple of assists and a goal. Finally. And I'm, I'm, who's going to get man of the match? Curious to know. 5-1 in the end. We've destroyed them in this extra time period. 44 shots in the game. We've won the World Cup. Ah, oh, well done, guys. Man of the match goes to Prestowo in the end with a goal and assist. 9.3 for him. Absolutely fantastic. We are world champions. Indonesia are world champions. That's the first time I've won the World Cup on FM15. Just got a Steam award for that. Oh, wow. That looks good. What a game. In terms of stats, you can see here, top average rating was Bawono. Awanto was on that list as well. Bawono most assists. Z Zekila, uh, Zalika, sorry, was joint third top scorer. Great stuff there. Let's look at the team. Uh, we we were fantastic in the end. Good stuff. Over the time that I've been managing them, Awanto and Tegu both got eight goals in ten games. And basically the top player in terms of players that did play was Bawona. He was magnificent. Ah, oh, We've done it. We've done it. I've won the World Cup. Thank you for sticking with me with this video. Thank you for sticking with all four parts. If you've managed to get to this stage, please hit that like button if you haven't done so already. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Hope you enjoyed it. It's a bit of difference to my normal experiments. Maybe this has enabled you to, uh, to maybe go over and check out some of my Let's Play series because it's, I guess, similar to that in a way. Thanks for watching. I hope I'll see you soon in a future video. Bye.